Have you ever tried counting how much hours are spent on the qualification by sales reps? I'm sure you get around 10 leads daily. And each lead requires at least one hour of a sales rep to get all the qualification and finally understand if the lead goes to the next step of the funnel or not. Well, if one lead out of 10 goes to the next step of the funnel, that's a really good picture and you're in a good position. But that means nine hours are wasted by your sales rep. So that is not really nice, if I can put it so, but there is a solution. And this is, I'm sure you know it, a chatbot. So right now there are plenty of chatbots on the market. And I've already told you about the benefits of a chatbot for a business. This video is devoted to the difference between all the popular chatbots that you can find on the web. So today I'm going to compare three most popular chatbots, which are Intercom, Drift, and Dashly. We are not affiliated, we do value your opinion and your trust, so here is the investigation. Well, first of all, let us check Dashly. So that is the platform for support and qualification. So the chatbot is pretty much devoted to the support and qualification. Most of all, Dashly chatbot is a conversational platform which helps you build a streamlined conversation. So basically you can collect and qualify leads. You can also provide the basic information about the services. You can also integrate it with Calendly to schedule calls fluently without uh, the sales reps and you can also share the articles to the knowledge base plus collecting product feedback of course and the main advantage is indeed it works 24 7 without a single minute of rest well that's the chatbot is best for the companies that are searching for more and more leads and that are generating a lot of leads on the website it is important not to overload sales because you're going to have a very wide top of the funnel, right? And the chatbot is perfect for the online stores. For example, you can recommend products like here, the qualification goes on and on and the chatbot gives all the suggestions and it also helps SaaS companies boost the revenue. So like a SaaS company can generate leads and then start the personalized communication with all the emails and pop-up windows and all the triggered messages. By the way, the company has uh, like 16 chatbot campaign templates, you can easily download it in the description to this video. So what can Dashly chatbot do? It can offer up to 10 possible response options, which is actually a lot. I'm not even sure if you're going to use all of them, but still, uh, guys do have the solution. And you can also qualify the visitors and answer possible questions. You can also save all the information about the visitors to the electronic CRM, which is also very helpful because you're going to send different triggered messages based on the segmentation that you can do inside this electronic CRM. Gosh, I love this feature. You are also going to collect as many contact details as possible and you can send files, you can send images and you can also assign a conversation to an agent or channel with uh, the people who are competent in this or that question like financial department or the logistics or probably just uh, the accounting right so what attracts most is that you can build a chatbot under like 20 minutes which is not a long period of time right and you can also initiate it straight away so there are also other advantages of dashly platform like the advanced visitor tracking so you're going to base all the communication on the data collected and you're also going to use the chat on the go because you can download ios application or android application and your agents can answer the questions wherever they are but work-life balance is important. So the message segmentation and personalization, well, that's what I like most of all, because you kind of have a tool which gives you unlimited opportunity to speak to every person personally. So A-B testing is also there and the integration with CRM, which is really, really nice. Now, the most important question is the price, right? Quite a reasonable price for all the functionality. And there is also custom pricing if you are an enterprise baby, so you can just go and um, contact the sales to customize the solution for your business. 
Well, the free trial is up to seven days. So like one day you're going to wake up in the morning, set up all the chatbot configuration, and you're going to install the chatbot on your website. And you have like seven days of uh, testing, experimenting, and getting all the data. So that will help you to understand if Dashly is a solution for you or not. But I say the product is pretty much user-friendly. Now, the pros and cons of Dashly platform. So the obvious pro is the unlimited number of agents. Like you don't pay per user, you pay per traffic, so which is really nice. You can also have different access rights. So like salespeople, support agents, administrative people. My favorite thing, you know, I'm fond of numbers and Dashly offers analytics funnel friendly support team, which is really nice because, well, again, that is one more of my favorite feature. Whenever I have problems with something, I usually start to panic. Uh, but here I can easily send message into the live chat in the admin panel and get uh, the response almost instantly. So plus they also have the solution for email marketing for pop-up windows, which can be designed nicely and also bring you some profit. Now, the cons. There is no artificial intelligence, so all is based on the algorithms, I mean the chatbot, right? And that's where you are going to think hard, or oh, probably not. Now, some of the other tasks with Dashly may require your developer's help. And uh, there are some integrations missing, well, with some popular CRMs. But again, I don't see this as a con because Dashly has electronic CRM inside so that can actually cater to all your needs. Now Intercom. I'm sure you know that giant and Intercom does have chatbot of course because they have the large set of tools for different needs and your website can also find something useful there. Basically Intercom is the solution for the enterprise level but still they do have the solution for startups for the omnichannel communication because they are for that they are for the omnichannel experience and they have different types of plans so again starting from startup to the enterprise. Now the Intercom chatbot can qualify leads, also recommend articles like the platform updates, for example, and they can also engage the users into the conversation like any chatbot can do. So the frequently asked questions can be answered on the spot and you can integrate Intercom with variety of applications, for example, video calls or again, a call schedule. Well, the chatbot mainly offers uh, different options like yes or no, and you can also program it. Apart from that, Intercom Resolution Bot, that's how it's called, is a live chat and that's customer base management, also triggered messages, which is uh, my favorite thing. Push notifications are also there and the message segmentation and personalization, which is also a must have tool nowadays, especially in the COVID-19 area. Now the knowledge base is also there and all the sequences of the communication, like the leads start communicating with you on the chatbot online, and then you can continue the conversation via email, like sending all the precious information so that your leads step into the next stage of the funnel. Now the pricing. It starts from $67 per user uh, per month up to $999 per month. So yeah, with Intercom you're going to pay per users. Well, they do have a starter pack, $67 per month, but as you grow at the end of the year, you're going to have a completely different offer. I see this type of feedback all around the web. So like we've been using Intercom per $67 per month during a whole year. And at the end of the year, they invoiced us with a thousand and something. So like be ready for that. So still they do have free trial of 14 days, which is quite nice, but you'll have to provide your bank card credentials to use it. All right, what are the pros and cons of Intercom platform? Well, indeed, that is a multifunctional platform with a variety of integrations. So Intercom can fit almost any business, the infrastructure of any team. It has a pretty straightforward interface and also it has a lot of data and different tools. Now the cons. Well, it may be expensive especially if you are a startup and you're actually tracking all these spends 
Intercom may seem a bit expensive compared to the competitors. Now the customer support, you may expect a delayed answers, so be ready to investigate the knowledge base to solve the issues yourself. Welcome to read all the detailed description of the popular chatbot solutions. Follow the link in the description and enjoy the 22 minutes reading. All right. Now, Drift. I'm sure you've heard this and Drift is mainly a chatbot for sales. So they do position their solution for the sales teams and Drift is very much focused on streamlining the sales, especially the qualification before the first call uh, with a potential lead. So Driftbot is going to qualify a lot and Drift is mainly for the sales teams and it is mostly for the small teams and medium-sized businesses. It is pretty much perfect for engaging your website visitors and converting them into potential buyers. So Drift offers a simple chatbot. It can qualify website visitors and it can offer possible answers. It is nicely integrated with the CRM. Now Drift is also offering a learning chatbot and its major job is qualify leads but you can also teach it to answer frequently asked questions with the knowledge base so drift lead bot can qualify a user call for an agent and helps investigate the platform using the articles from the knowledge base but note you're going to train it together with the Drift team. So the advanced features are the live chat, video calls, emails, and also automation, including bots, right? Now the pricing, very much sensitive, and the pricing is from $0 per month up to 1,500 per month. It depends on the stack of the features inside. So the bigger you are, the more features you need, the higher the pricing is. That is obvious. Well, there are three main plans, premium, advanced and enterprise, but you can also enjoy the free plan, which includes welcome email messages, email signatures, live chat and basic reporting. So the price tag may be too high for you if you are a small business or a startup. Now the free trial. Drift doesn't have a free trial. No, never. But you're going to use the platform on free plan and kind of sneak what it can do uh, if you pay for it. Now, the pros and cons. The obvious pros are numerous advanced features in a pack for catering all the sales needs. Yeah, so like Drift knows how to do the sales and they're going to teach you that. Now, easy to use interface. And also the chatbots are not the algorithmic, but artificial intelligence, which is a step forward indeed. It also has a lot of segmentation inside and plenty of integrations like to suit the infrastructure of your business perfectly. The cons. Customization is not very much on your side, so you're going to adapt your infrastructure to Drift, but not vice versa, unfortunately. The pricing may be too high if you're a startup or even medium-sized business. Uh, there is no transparency in plans, like they have different packs with different features and it is not really much clear, unfortunately, like why the feature A is in the advanced pack but not in the premium and you're like, no, I don't understand this. There is no international support and it may be kind of different to master the chatbot. So you remember, you're going to teach it somehow. You're going to teach it with the Drift team and probably they are not sitting there waiting for you to come. And you're going to face the limitation uh, of uh, the agent seats in each plan. So these are the three most popular solutions for a chatbot that you can find on the market. So the difference is in pricing, functionality, and also the number of seats you're going to have on the platform. I do advise testing each and every platform before actually choosing the one, but I'm sure you're probably going to pay attention to the pricing first and only then look at the features if you are a beginner, right? But if you are a business which is a uh, few years old, you're probably going to focus on the features first and only then uh, think about the pricing. Yeah, but still, the most important thing is that all your team that's going to be in this platform 
every day from morning till evening, people are going to be very much comfortable in it. So do invite a few of your teammates to test the platform all together and take the decision all together again. So that is it. In the next video, I'm going to tell you about a few more solutions. Bye.